Inflation also forms the context for the next alternative that we'll consider, the chaotic inflationary model. One of the most fertile of the inflation theorists has been the Russian cosmologist Andrei Linde, who currently champions his chaotic inflationary model. According to cosmologist Robert Brandenberger, Linde's chaotic inflation scenario is the only viable inflationary model in the sense that it is not plagued with internal inconsistencies, as old inflation and new inflation models are. In Linda's model, inflation never ends. Each inflating domain of the universe, when it reaches a certain volume, gives rise uh, via inflation to another domain, and so on, and so on, ad infinitum. Linda's model thus has a, an infinite future. But Linda is troubled at the prospect of an absolute beginning, he writes. The most difficult aspect of this problem is not the existence of the singularity itself, but the question of what was before the singularity. This problem, he says, lies somewhere at the boundary between physics and metaphysics. Linda therefore proposes that chaotic inflation is not only endless, but beginningless. Every domain in the universe is the product of inflation in another prior domain, so that the singularity is averted, and with it as well, the question of what came before, or more accurately, I think, what caused it. In 1994, however, Arvin Bord and Alexander Vilenkin showed that a universe eternally inflating toward the future cannot be geodesically complete in the past. That is to say, there must have existed at some point in the indefinite past an initial singularity. They write, a model in which the inflationary phase has no end naturally leads to this question. Can this model also be extended to the infinite past, avoiding in this way the problem of the initial singularity? They answer, this is in fact not possible in future eternal inflationary space-times, as long as they obey some reasonable physical conditions. Such models must necessarily possess initial singularities. They conclude, the fact that inflationary space-times are past incomplete forces one to address the question of what, if anything, came before. In his response to Bord and Vilenkin's article, Linda concurs with their conclusions. He says there must have been a Big Bang singularity at some point in the past. <laughs> 